Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, we're just taking a look at our phone here. Uh, we found a very interesting uh, camera that uh, a lot of UFPV guys might be interested in. Um, as most of most of you know, their Insta360, uh, in the last year and a half, they put out the uh, uh, InstaGo and the InstaGo 2. It's a little tiny camera that uh, apparently it records for like a five minute period at a time and uh, it films in 4K. Um, it, it was a really interesting camera that I definitely had thought about getting. Uh, it was the price. The, the price was uh, uh, kind of high. I think it was close to $300 Canadian or maybe even a little bit more than that. Um, but it, it looks like a real cool camera that you can do a lot of things with. Anyways, we looked online and we found a camera that is almost identical to it and uh, it was only around $100 uh, Canadian and uh, today we'd like to show that to you. We'll do a little unboxing and uh, uh, show you what uh, this little camera can do. So here is the camera that we're referring to. Um, this is the SJ Cam C100 Plus. Now again, just like other companies, apparently they had one previously before this one, which was the uh, C100, and that one apparently only did 1080 60, and I think this one here is shooting 2.7K high definition, uh, 30 frames per second. Anyways, let's unbox this and let's have a look at it. First off, we want to show you the camera, and this is the camera, and uh, that little intro we just done was done with this little camera. Uh, you get this little case, you get this little case here that you can uh, pop this tiny camera inside of. Okay, and to operate this, it's pretty simple. You just press and hold, you'll feel it vibrate. Okay, now it's off, and you press and hold, you'll feel it vibrate, and you'll see a blue light, and the blue light indicates that it's on. To connect this to your phone, you're going to open up the Wi-Fi, you're going to tap this twice, once, two. Okay, you'll see it goes into a flashing mode and it should come up as the C100 on your phone. Make sure you have the uh, SJ Cam app on your phone. Open up the app and in the app you'll be able to change a number of settings for this camera. Also on the bottom there's a little rubber tab here that you can just pop open. It should come open easier than that. There. And inside here, you'll see a micro USB slot for charging this little camera and another little slot here for a micro SD card. And this little button here is if you were to have any issues with it, you can just press that, that's like a reset button. Anyway, she's a cute little camera. They have this in a number of different colors. Um, I actually got the green one, but I think they have blue, they have white, they have black, they have multiple colors. And if you go to uh, the SJ Cam uh, website, uh, you'll see the price on that and uh, you can order whatever color you want. Okay, now connecting, we'll show you a little bit of 
how to connect now. We did go into our Wi-Fi. Let's see here. Uh, okay, we did go into our Wi-Fi. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to shut this up. Okay, long press. Turn it up. Press and hold. Until it vibrates. Press and hold. Now the camera is on. Okay, we're going to hit that twice. Okay, now she's in a binding mode. Okay, on our phone. Okay, on your phone, it'll come up C100 and a whole bunch of letters and numbers. We'll tap on that. Okay, and it looks like it's connected. Now that we're connected, we're gonna go back to the app. And we've installed the app, and this is what the app will look like. The SJ Cam, not this one. So we tap on that. And there's the multiple colors that uh, this camera comes in. It's really cool. Uh, they give you all the little GoPro attachments. Uh, this is the little case that we had on it. And we'll show you what else is in the box here. We'll connect to the camera. Okay. And here is the camera right here. You can see on my phone it's we're filming ourselves here. To record in here, you would just hit this button for recording. Uh, along the top here, you can change this. You can change this to vertical mode. Tap there into vertical mode. You can do a time lapse, video lapse. And you can also put it into uh, car mode I I guess that's for like a dash cam uh, down here oh you can switch this over for photos uh, now it's in photo mode so now she's in photo mode and uh, we could actually just snap a photo we just press there and she took a photo and they even have uh, a burst mode, so it would take multiple pictures. Uh, let's go back here. Let's go back into video. Okay, we'll go back to video. Okay, and over here on the right, okay, they give you uh, these are all the different settings. These are all the different settings that... Uh, these are all the different settings that you can change in the camera. 
the movie codec, you can have it as uh, 264 or you can change it to 265 for better quality. The resolution is 2560 by 1440. These are all the different resolutions you can change it to. 1280 by 720, 60 frames per second. 1280 by 720, 120 frames per second. 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. And 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. And then your, your 2K, which is 2560 by 1440, 30 frames per second. That's what we have the resolution on right now. Uh, there's, there's quite a few settings in here. Uh, loop recording, uh, audio, uh, your exposure value can be changed, your white balance can be changed, color for color, I have it on normal, but they have black and white, retro, warm, cool. Uh, sharpness can be changed. Wide dynamic range I have on. It also has anti-shake. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Uh, that's probably a little bit of stabilization. Uh, we'll do a bit of filming and, and show you and see how well that is. Uh, they have timestamp. Maybe we'll turn the timestamp on. Okay, timestamp is on. Uh, sensor flip. I'm not sure what that is. Fast record. I'm not really using that. Auto power off. Three minutes. You can change that. I think I'll put that off. Uh, frequency. You can change that to 60 hertz. Firmware version. Okay, it doesn't look like, I guess, if it does need an update, you're probably going to see it in here. Anyways, let's, let's check out and see what's in the box. So, first off, you are going to have the camera. Let's turn that off. Okay, they gave you uh, a little book. And this book has, you know, all the instructions in there. Uh, if you uh, need to scan this to get the app, you can do that. QR code. They give you a layout here, tell you what all these buttons are that uh, we just went through on your phone. There's quite a few applications that this could be used. Anywhere you could stick your uh, GoPro, you can stick this little thing. Plus, this is perfect size for FPV. stickers here. This is a waterproof case. This is going to be handy so it can uh, go underwater up to 30 meters. And this here is uh, can be mounted onto any uh, GoPro case and holds the camera. And this one here uh, has like a little uh, clip here on the back so this can clip onto your shirt, your pants, your belt, whatever, whatever may be. And here's a little uh, lanyard that uh, can actually attach to the camera. If you wanted to have this camera uh, around your neck uh, while you're filming, 
anyways, this is this is all the accessories that uh, you're going to find in the box. Okay, so uh, we have the uh, SJ Cam C100 Plus uh, just clipped onto our shirt, and we're just walking around. And here you can see I have the phone there. I have the app open, so we just press record. We can see what we're recording. Unfortunately, I have a shirt on that's uh, it's pointing more up to the sky, but if we point it down a bit, okay, so we're, uh, we're pulling it down on our shirt, and this is the kind of footage that you're going to get. Take a look around. Not sure how the audio is on this. It's pretty quiet around here. Let me know what you think of the video and, uh, and the audio. I mean, for $100, you can't go wrong with this little camera. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate the watch. I appreciate the support. Um, I think that this little camera is very cool. Um, I've been able to look at some of the footage, and it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And for the price of $100, like I said, like you, you can't beat that. Um, they give you all the little accessories to to do so many things with this little camera um, I am so happy that I got this anyways guys thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one time to play with this little camera